Hi, Tyler. This is uh, Jordan LaBarber with Bills.com. Uh, the, four, the fourth down, uh, the, the ball falls incomplete. The, f the flag comes in. It looks like the game's over for a second, and then you're scoring the touchdown. Can you take me through your vantage point for the fourth down play and then describe the emotional roller coaster, I guess, that led to the uh, score? Yeah, like you said, it was a little bit of a roller coaster for a second. But one thing that I know about this team is we're going to keep fighting all four quarters. And it was uh, going back and forth all day. I'm just happy we were in a position to win at the end. Hi, Tyler. Matt Fairburn here. Can you hear me OK? Yep. I hear you, Matt. When you think back to last year and everything you went through, um, mm -hmm. what does that add to, to today and, and how far you've come? Yeah, obviously, there's a, there's a motion that's been brought into this, uh, re-breaking my foot and then blowing out my other ankle. So, I mean, playing on two bad feet last year, it was just there was a lot of stuff to overcome personally. But I've always been taught you come to work every day ready to go. And you handle your opportunities when they come and uh, treat your – basically handle your business like a pro. So I'm just happy I was in a position to make a play today. What did it mean to see your teammates respond the way that they did uh, when you scored that touchdown? Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. We got a lot of love for each other in this locker room. Uh, we got a lot of really competitive guys. And uh, we know when that juice gets going, like, uh, it's just – it's awesome seeing that. Thank you, Tyler. Congrats. Hey, Thank Tyler, you. it's Jason Wolf with the Buffalo News. Congratulations on the win and one heck of a performance today, man. I appreciate that. Uh, curious from your perspective, what happened on the play where you went up, got the ball, and they ended up calling it an interception? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, there's going to be calls that go like that in the game. From my perspective, I was going up for it, and there's definitely a little contact, but I thought we both had the right to get the ball. Um, I thought I had control of it coming down, but I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. I, I just got to do a better job of ripping it out at the end and make sure it's not up to the, in the ref's hands. Who was the first person to come talk to you on the sidelines after that? And, and what was the message and, and what was your sort of mindset moving forward from that point? Um, moving forward, you just got to flush it. I mean, it's, that play is obviously going to be frustrating and we're going to want that back, but if, you, if you're lingering on the past plays, that's just going to prevent you from doing your job down the road. So uh, everyone was like, that was basically a heck of a play trying to go up and make a go up there and high point it. But like I said, sometimes that's happens. And that's just how it goes. So you have to flush it and just focus on the next play. And then real quick, what's it say about this offense to, you know, build that big lead. And then when you find yourself losing with four and a half minutes to go, you take it down the field and deliver. Yeah, I, I would just say we have some competitive dogs in our locker room. And I can't say enough about 1-7. Josh is just, he's competitive as hell. He's going to make sure that we have, we're in a position to win. And you see it out there. He's trying to stiff arm four dudes and still throw the ball down. So, I mean, that he's, he's a competitive guy, and he's going to put us in a position to win every time. Thanks so much, man. Congrats again. Hey, Tyler, just jumping off that point, I guess what does a win like this kind of say for the whole team? What does it say, do you think? Um, yeah, I think it was a great team win. Uh, special teams was out there making plays. Andre had some great returns. Our defense is stout. I know, obviously, we're going to have to watch tape and see how it goes as an offense. I thought just overall it was a great team win. Um, like I keep coming back to it, but we got just some competitive guys in this locker room that love to play ball and love to be around each other. What did you see from Josh? Like, How was he leading you guys late in the fourth quarter when you guys were down? Uh, you can just you see that look in his eye, especially when he comes in the huddle. He's he's all he's all going forward. He ain't worried about the last play. He's just fully focused on what he has next. And when you have a quarterback that that's locked in or that is that locked in, it's it takes a lot of extra pressure off of you because you know he's going to be ready to go and lead us that way. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Uh... Mark Gone from the Buffalo News, Tyler. Could you just uh, walk us through the two scores? The first one was e seemed you know a little easy. It looked like you maybe just fake block for a second and then leak out. And then the second one, it, did you get grabbed there off the line of scrimmage and you had to or uh, just to walk us through the two yeah, scores? There, yeah, I mean the first one that was kind of a play that we had cooked up a little bit, and I can't say enough about uh, Diggy Stefan. He was uh, he gave me a good little rubber out on there and. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, it kind of, I was a little wide open and those are the ones where the ball feels like they're in the air forever. But uh, 
that one was fun scoring. Um, so I can't say I appreciate Diggs for that one. And uh, yeah, the other one, there was a little contact coming through the line, but when you're down that low, you, you got to be ready for that. You can't be uh, caught off guard by that. So just had to rip through it and Josh put that one up there and allowed me to go make the play. Did you come from the backside or were you the play side there? And did you think the ball was coming to you when the play got called? Uh, I mean, we're all, when Josh is back there, we're all live. Like, you don't know where that ball's going, so you got to make sure you win your one-on-one. But, uh, yeah, I was on the right side and ran basically like a shallow kind of over route.